What's up everyone? I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hopefully I'm your trusted Toyota resource. Today it's a rainy day, obviously. There's not much I can do out on the lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at a Highlander 2020 that just came in. It's an XLE Blizzard Pearl with beige interior. I'll just do a little walk around and show you some key highlights so that you get a feel for what Blizzard Pearl is gonna look like in the new one. So let's get started. Let's do a walk around. I'll try to make this as interesting as possible. Of course, in the rain, it's hard to do a lot of videos that I would normally do, but this is Blizzard Pearl, the XLE. It's got beige interior, so you'll see the 18 inch alloy wheels here. It's a different wheel design than in 2019. Some people are gonna love it. Some people will think, eh, I like the last year's model better. This one has LED fog lights. It also has LED headlights, daytime running lights. And then it's got that three-dimensional, I call it, gloss black grill with the accent piece here. It's got Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, so it's gonna have road sign assist, lane tracing assist, pedestrian detection at night, bicycle detection during the daytime, got a standard sunroof this one has the beige interior I've shown it on the blueprint also but during the daytime we can get a feel now when you get the beige it's gonna have accents of brown in it so I do want to point that out so that everybody knows this is what the vehicle looks like it's a leather wrapped steering wheel but this is what it looks like when it comes in right from the factory it's got power driver seat this is Harvest Beige Interior. I like this year's beige interior better than last year's because the last generation, the third generation, was more like a yellow. I call it like a straw color. And then I do want to point this out here. When we look at the center console, it has the wireless charging on XLE and above. You can put storage stuff in here so that you don't have to see it. And then it's got a storage tray that pops out. Has sport mode, eco mode, normal mode, snow mode. This is the engine start and stop button. It turns off the engine at traffic lights so that you're not burning fuel. Electronic parking brake, brake hold. Has USB ports everywhere. Two different storage shelves. And then this is the eight inch multimedia touch screen. with temperature controls for rear and both sides. It also has smart flow climate control. So if you want, you can control so that it's only heating and cooling, maybe just the driver's seat. And then this is where the heated seats go on either side. Yeah. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home link, huh? Safety connect, Wi-Fi connect. This is with the captain's chairs. You can also get, look at me, I am the captain now. You can also get a bench seat across the second row. Has temperature controls that are digital. Two more USB ports, so a total of five pockets for books and things like that on both sides, which is nice, both seats. This is the cup holder. And then this moves the seat forward. And then this is how to get to the third row seating. It's 2.36 inches longer, 2.36 inches longer, if I can say that, which means more storage space, more cargo room, also more room for the second and the third row seats. There we go. Here's with the tailgate up. And then the back storage space. It used to be 13 cubic feet of storage space. Now it's 16 behind the third row seat. And it used to be, I believe, 42 cubic feet of storage space behind the second row. Now it's 48. So big improvements there with space. This one here has a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. All gasoline models do. If it's a hybrid, it's 3,500 pounds. It has LED tail lights, headlights. 
and then under here is the backup camera and then this is also the washer that cleans the backup camera and this is how you open it the back tailgate with your hand right so what do you think of blizzard pearl guys how's it look are you getting used to the new body design exterior styling interior styling of the 2020 thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel what do you guys think of the 2020 yet have you gotten accustomed to the new body design yet what do you think of the front grille some people are still getting used to it i'm sure you'll all love it eventually but for right now it's kind of mixed so thank you guys so much i love the interior of xle i love the interior of 2020 it's open it's spacious it's pleasant to be in so what do you guys think see you next time